sir and uh, we are grateful to you for your support and always guidance and uh, just to add what professor bakshi is uh, maybe benefiting from us must be a drop we are benefiting other way now ocean full of uh, knowledge from him so now i will request professor ek bakshi is chairman for our both the centers and rest i think you all know because sir they are all our participants of the earlier conducted workshop so i request you to please uh, guide us thank you vimal for your very kind words of introduction and uh, dr jaswinder singh ji also for putting so much praise i wish i was worth that a very hearty welcome to all of you dear participants warm welcome in a very warm weather so i think uh, you all know that basically you have come here for a workshop which basically is working on teachers e kit you know you must be thinking that why we are doing all this you know it is basically a manifestation of our entire thinking process and our thinking is that we need to improve the quality of teaching in our university system unfortunately you know there has been a report that 90% of the colleges and 2/3 of the universities in india are offering substandard education and that's a reality so how to improve the quality of education that's a big question mark and in this we cannot be successful without empowering our teachers because you will all agree that a teacher is the pivot of the education system entire education system revolves around a teacher and the quality of the education system is inextricably linked to the quality of the teachers you know people say that ultimately an institution is as good as its faculty if you look at the world's leading institutions including many iits and tata institute of fundamental research and others you know they take so much pains in recruiting one even assistant professor position filling that position because they know that once they get a good person he will be he or she will be a big asset for us otherwise it can prove to be a big liability for maybe 30 years i remember it i personally went through a, that exercise i think in 1990s i was called for an interview in iit kanpur i was in a college and i just applied and then you know after a couple of months i was told that you have to come on this date and address the students and the faculty on your topic of research maybe i was out of the five people who were shortlisted i went to iit kanpur delivered a talk they were fully familiar with my research work they had already told the students that you should ask any question which you want relating to what i am speaking and then assess the person and give your feedback it was an eye opener for me i delivered the talk everything and then other people also i had to stay there for one day in one day they had organized three lectures and the next day three lectures so three three shortlisted candidates had come 
and after that next day we had to go to a selection committee selection panel where the head of the department carried the opinion about each person who was called and the opinion of the students and that is you know how they selected them us of course i was selected but then i could not join because of my personal reasons but i had a great liking for the system that how much concern these people are showing for recruiting even one assistant professor level position so that's what i really want to say that a teacher is the pivot a teacher can do wonders and in any higher education institution a teacher is normally expected to do two things one is to create knowledge that is research and second is to disseminate knowledge that is teaching and of course other administration and management works are also there but these are the two major functions you know it's very unfortunate i have been in higher education system for more than 3 decades i joined teaching when i was just 21 in delhi university and i have taught at ug level pg level written for ncert books and interacted i think all sorts of students teachers as a director of cpdhc then i triple l and then all these positions i personally feel this is my feeling that unfortunately in our higher education system teaching doesn't get the importance it deserves it is thought that perhaps anybody and everybody can do the teaching i think here is the major problem and because of this we have been laying more and more emphasis on our research work and teaching gets neglected and you see yourself if you look at our research scenario in india no doubt there are peaks of excellence here and there but whether these peaks of excellence are because of the system or in spite of the system that's a big question mark you know i had in delhi university almost all university toppers were my phd students almost they did msc and then they joined my research group and now they are the university toppers but when they come to the research you know their mindset is like that that there will be some curriculum they will have to do something they will work very hard and they will do very well in research also as they had done up to msc so there the problem comes why our students are not able to do good research is because of the fundamental reason that our students have never been trained to do out of box thinking this nurturing of innovation and creativity amongst our students is missing see from school days onwards look at 12th class i have been i have written ncert books for 11th and 12th so much course i think there are about 30 more than 30 units in these two books 11th and 12th covering almost entire chemistry and the same must be the case with commerce and economics and physics etc students are so much overloaded they can't understand they are never encouraged to do some thinking creative thinking that is all together missing and you know when this happens this affects your research because you know, you don't know how to become creative creativity is coming out with a new idea and innovation is using that idea to produce some new product service etc so we are missing on both these fronts and you know we people i also when i went immediately after my phd abroad i remember i worked with a nobel laureate and he said dr bakshi you are a good student but if you want to work in my field at least for 2 to 3 years you will have to study and study and study and deliver seminars and all that 
I accepted it. For three years, I had no publications. I fully grasped all the books. Then I had to deliver seminar. There were very probing questions, which motivated me to do out of box thinking, creative thinking, come out with new ideas. And then I started applying them. And then I could do very good research work. So that's what I waiting say that our teaching is to be blamed if we are not able to produce good researchers. Please remember, a good teacher will produce not only a good researcher for future, but he or she will also produce good teachers also for future. If I like some subject today, it is also because of a teacher. And if I detest some subject, it is also because of some teacher. So teacher plays a very, very important role. So realizing the importance of teaching, we have been working for the last so many years how to enhance the quality of teaching learning in our higher education system. When we were at IEEL, as Dr. Jaswinder Singh Ji mentioned, Vimal was with me as academic secretary ICT. Whatsoever we were doing ultimately purpose was to integrate technology with education and make it more interesting. Now we started here, we produced content, then we are developing MOOCs. And the MOOCs, again, they will increase the accessibility. As Dr. Jaswinder Singh said, since independence, we have grown considerably. But still, our gross enrollment ratio is only 24%. Out of 100 in the age group of 90 to 23, or 18 to 23, only 24% are able to come to higher education. So MOOCs will make education available to the masses, world-class education available to the masses, just a click away. So again, the emphasis is, you know, any person, I have, for example, a MOOC on quantum chemistry, anybody in the country who might not have even heard me or seen me, he or she can have access to my MOOC. Similarly, other MOOCs. So that is how the problem of scarcity of the teachers will also be obviated. So that is one approach. But the second is how to improve teachers also. Of course, teachers can also enroll in those courses, young teachers. They can also enroll in MOOCs and learn from the expert lectures of various experts. Of course, it will be beneficial. But if you look at the concept of teachers e-kit, here the thinking is how to train teachers, how to empower teachers so that they can deliver to their students in a much, much better way. For example, other day, you know, there was a very interesting discussion. Some people said in a debate that it's very unfortunate that in India, science is taught on blackboards. Science, which is a hands-on activity, mostly. We teach everything on blackboard. If you ask the student any experimental component relating to that, they will be totally zero in that. I ask some student how you will measure the temperature of a gas. He says, put thermometer in a gas. He is not to be blamed. We have never told them. How can we expect them to excel in world-class research? So our training is wrong. That is why, you know, these days we call activity-based learning. That when you teach, you show some activity, hands-on activity, you learn it quicker. Many institutions perform research-based learning. The teacher who is doing research in any field that teacher does the teaching because he has done the research, so he, can, he will be the best person to do justice. So please try to understand the importance. You are all teachers. Your role is very, very important. You know, it's said that teacher is the creator of all other professions. But what sort of people are we going to create? That depends upon how well we teach. And your teaching should reflect the amount of thinking you have done on the subject. Thinking is not merely passing down information. 
that students can these days very easily take from Google. Every information is available. But the thinking behind each and everything, that is very, very important. And that also in a time-bound manner. Because if after five years or ten years students realize, realization comes to everybody. But generally by the time realization comes, it's already very late. That should not happen. So therefore, I think keeping those perspectives in mind, our team, especially Vimal, Professor Mahanumurthy and Dr. Jaswinder Singh, we thought we will come out with the idea of teacher's e-kit. This is in this, we will include all that information which teachers should know and how best to deliver that to the students. It's not for students. For students, we have already e-content for various MOOCs. So it will be different from that, various activities and like that. And even for experimental work, we are also going to do it. For example, if you have science subjects in chemistry, we are going to also prepare teacher's kit for various experiments. All aspects of experiments will be shown there. So you can very well understand how important it is going to be. And ultimately, we are using technology for all this purpose. Because integration of technology is ultimately the main aim of this. E digital India, digital education, e-learning. Whatsoever we may do, Technology is only a facilitator. Technology in itself will not achieve anything. So we have to use technology to ultimately focus on learning. Please remember whether it is the talk and chalk method or whether it is the e-learning or whether it is activate based learning or whether it is research based learning. Everywhere focus is ultimately on learning we should be able to achieve learning and we should be able to really nurture innovation, thinking and creativity amongst our students. That's ultimate our aim. So I think that's basically what I really wanted to tell you that that will be the focus of our this uh, today's workshop and uh, a lot of efforts have gone into this and as I said, Dr. Vimal is the real brain behind entire all this activity. She is also the project head. We have been coming, you know, we have many other commitments, but she is one who is 24 by 7 available in the center. And I think it's a, you know, I can say that uh, one man army or one woman army she is. She manages the whole. Please have a big round of applause for her. Because since you have already attended various workshops, you must have seen we come very often, but then we are always discussing and ultimate our concern is to promote that sort of teaching quality. And once you do that, please note it, research will automatically improve. Perhaps we are not able to realize that, but after a few years this will happen. So all the best to you and thank you for <coughs> inviting me to deliver this talk. I hope you have a great time today. Thank you very much.